Three lessons for Ontario's PC party. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. It's been an interesting week for the PCs. They had a big flip-flop, then they had an apology tour, a week of disastrous press, and yet they still won the by-election in Scarborough Rouge River. That's right, their local candidate, Raymond Cho, pulled it off, taking 38% of the vote to the Liberals' 28%. Now, that's not only a win in a by-election, it's stealing a seat from an unpopular government. But it was a tough week for the PCs, no less. What do they need to know, what do they need to learn, as they look forward to the next 18 months in the lead-up to the next general election? Kathleen Wynne is unpopular, we know, but that doesn't mean she can't steal election victory once again. So, three lessons for the Ontario PCs. One, they've got to get their act together on messaging and what they stand for. The whole sex ed situation was Patrick Brown's fourth take on it. He ran in the PC leadership against the sex ed curriculum, saying he would repeal those changes, the changes that parents don't like. Then he was for it. Then he was against it. Now he's for it again. He has to decide where he stands and make sure his caucus is on board with him because his flip-flopping has left them not knowing where the party stands on this and other issues. So they need to get their messaging together. That's key. If the party doesn't even know where it stands, how will the public know? Two, they need to stop shooting inside their own tent. One of the big problems with Patrick Brown's mea culpa in the Toronto Red Star of all places was, beyond the fact that it was in the Toronto Star, is that he was shooting his own people. He was calling those who had legitimate and real concerns about Wynne's sex ed curriculum homophobes and bigots. And he did that in interview after interview after the fact as well. That's shooting people that are want to be inside your tent. Those, that's annoying people that would otherwise vote for you. And you can't do that and win elections. You've got to bring your coalition together. Yes, you need to expand your coalition to make sure you win, but that doesn't mean that you shoot the people inside the tent to please the people on the outside, like the Red Star, that are never going to come in. Thirdly, they need to make sure that they are ready for the next campaign. They need to make sure that they keep the focus on Kathleen Wynne and the Liberals. The Liberals are hugely unpopular right now. One poll earlier this summer put Kathleen Wynne's personal popularity, the approval rating for the job she's doing, at just 18%. That's less than two out of five Ontario voters saying they're happy with the direction the province is going. But that doesn't mean that the PCs have this in a cakewalk. Another poll released just after that showed that the Ontario PCs had 42% voter support, but the Liberals were right behind them at 35. That may not even be enough for Patrick Brown and the PCs to win a majority government. And that's the only thing they should be winning. So let's recap. Make sure that you're on message and that the whole party knows what the message is. Two, don't shoot at people inside your own tent. And three, keep the focus on win. This whole week took the focus off of Kathleen Wynne and problems that she's had this week, including a, an education system where only half of the students in grade six meet the, the math provincial standard and put it on Patrick Brown. This should have been a week about Kathleen Wynne and her failures. That should have been enough to make Raymond Cho get more than 40% of the vote, but it didn't happen. That has to change going forward if the PCs want to win the election in 2018. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.